Hello and welcome. I've got what should probably be a fairly short video for you today. I uh, just am leaving the parking lot for the bike trail that goes around the outside of Sylvania. And uh, it's just actually a few hundred feet, uh, maybe a few hundred yards from the trailhead for Whitefish Lake. And we're going to be going into, into Sylvania today, but or it's going to be a little bit of a bushwhack. Uh, we're going to hike a short distance down this trail, and then we're going to start heading for the uh, northwest corner of the lake. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. Um, we got a little bit of snow. The wind's blowing pretty hard, but it's coming out of the west. Um, so that shouldn't be too bad. A video I did back in the spring of uh, 2023, my first paddle video, we took a little trip to see what was marked on an old map as the Big Rock. And I recently had a subscriber reach out to me and tell me, hey, I know of a bigger rock. And to tell you the truth, it was cool to see the big rock, but I was unimpressed. And uh, he told me that I would most likely be more impressed with this rock. These big boulders that are out here, including some of the smaller rocks you'll see out in the woods are known as glacial erratics and they are big chunks of stone that the glaciers ripped away from wherever they were sitting and brought down here and so um, you know you may be in places where you don't see a whole lot of bedrock but you'll have these rocks and I'll show you a couple that I see along the way because you'll see all sorts of small ones but occasionally you see large ones just had to make a quick little side trip here off the side of the bike trail is this little bog lake which looks to be a little over 50% open I believe this is called Datsy Lake D-A-T-S-Y got a little bit of uh wolf scat here on the trail and as I look up the road I already passed a few since I filmed that first one but here's some more very old another patch there very old here's some slightly newer stuff a lot of deer hair in it and I'm sure there's plenty more along this trail here what i'm guessing is, is this is a like a scent line um and a border they patrol so it's probably the edge of their territory and that's probably way more than you wanted to know about scat and we're about to head off into the woods and start our bushwhack but talking about glacial erratics that there is a small one But you have rocks like that all over the place in here. And uh, I'm curious about the big ones. So here we go. Into the, uh, into the wilderness. The easiest way in here is just to cross this marshy area. I don't think it'll be too bad. Just not 100% which direction I want to go to cross it. Nice thing is it feels like it's uh, the ground's still a bit frozen. So even though we've been dry, I'm sure if it wasn't frozen, this would uh, be Kind of nasty to cross through. 
but I think I'm just going to continue straight through here. So I'm not sure what the state of the bears are at the moment, but uh, I caught that kind of a ways off. Um, looked like it would have been a perfect bear den, but uh, I didn't see anything that said that there was a bear using it or had been using it recently. And there definitely wasn't a bear in it, so. But I'm pretty sure we're probably getting close to the time of them start coming out with the amount of warm weather we've had, so. Big hemlocks like this are the reason that uh, I love the Sylvania so much. So once I was told about this rock, I, uh, I got on Google Earth and started looking. And uh, here's what I found. I think that right there in the middle is the big rock. The new big rock are glacial erratic. We're generally headed to the north northwest corner of Whitefish Lake. Yeah, so I don't know how well you can make it out from here. Looks like the first oh, 20 feet or so of the shoreline on this uh, western side of the lake is open. So I came down to the shore quick to give you another look at the ice. So you can see it sure is opening up. I think with some sun and some windy days it won't be long and these lakes will uh, be clear. I'm starting to think we'll be ice off about a month early. Usually it's right around May 1st that we lose the ice and uh, it's the middle of March now. So I'm guessing around April 1st, if not earlier, we'll be uh, ice free on these lakes. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, uh, if you'd like to see more of my content show up in your feed, uh, consider going down and, and hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm at the coordinates I marked on the map based on the location uh, of what I saw in Google Earth. And I'm not sure what I was looking at in Google Earth then. But I am in the right area, so, and it's pretty clear. So I'm gonna take a look around here and hike and see if I can find it. I was literally minutes away from giving up, thinking either I had walked past it um, or something else. And so I decided to come down towards the shoreline and just walk the shore a bit. Figured I'd get you one more view of the lake and uh, I had strayed up a little bit of a ridge line not far off the lake and I noticed something pe peeking out across the way and I was like, ah, that can't be it. And I'd show it to you, but I think it's a little too far away. And I climbed up the hill just a little bit more to get a better view of it. And lo and behold, what's on the other side? But this guy, amazing. This is impressive much much larger than the other rock um yeah cool what do you think
So as you can see, it's much, much taller than I am. Well, not much, but a little bit taller. And I'm like 5'10ish. Uh, so I'd say it's over six foot tall. Probably 10 feet across this way. And then this way, it's a little bit longer. I'd say, oh, 15 ish. So, yeah, man, this is rad. Way, way cool. So, up on top now. Now, they even have a few trees growing uh, out of the top of it here. There's also this pretty interesting uh, old stump sitting here. And from on top of it, there's the lake right there, so it's not that far off the lake, but uh, it's definitely hidden back in here. I don't think you would see this from the lake. Let me know, is this the uh, granddaddy of glacial erratics in, uh, in the Sylvania wilderness? If you know of another one, or even one of that's smaller but, but still large in size, let me know. Um, I'd like to see, find more of these if they're out there. I know there's lots of parts of the wilderness that nobody ever really explores. Um, I'm sure even the area that I'm standing in right now, I doubt a ton of people come back over in this area on foot. If you're good with uh, geology, maybe you can help tell me what this is. I think it is a granite of some sort. Um, it looks like there's some uh, pinkish color in it, so maybe pink granite, but I'm not 100% sure it's, it's got a lot of weathering on it. So I'll give you one last look at the glacial erratic here as I walk away. I'm going to head out to the shore here for a minute, hydrate up, and give you one last look at the lake before I take off. Well, hopefully it won't be long now and we'll have that canoe in the water and we'll be back to canoe videos. Um, in the meantime, I think I'm going to end this video here. Shouldn't be anything exciting on my hike out uh, and back to the car, but uh, if there is, I'll throw it in. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.